Captain Matt, Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about the bottom five bow riders by brands. Now, I want to say this before we get started with this, is these brands are by no means unsafe, should you never buy them in any circumstances. The reason I'm ranking them is so that you know kind of what you're going to get if you buy one of these brands. With that said, they all are going to have the same power source as my top five brands. So all five of these are going to have a Mercruiser or a Volvo, or a Yamaha, a Mercury, a Suzuki, or a Honda Outboard. So 50% of the value of the boat is going to be identical to what you get with the top tier brands. What you are going to see is the quality of construction, the materials used, the little things that's going to allow them to put the same motor in the boat, but to sell it for ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars less, depending on the actual boat itself. Okay, so they're using less materials, cheaper materials, different build processes that are easier to do and allow them to build the boat for less, so they can sell it to you for less. So if you're looking to get value, these might be the brands to consider and to look at. And as always, if you're buying new, the dealership is a huge consideration. We'll talk about that. So number five, Glastron. Glastron's been building boats for a long time, but in today's world, in the last five years and newer, I'm going to put them at number five. Number four, you've got Bayliner. Now, Bayliner gets a bad reputation. I did a full video on Bayliner. You can watch that on the channel. Number three, we've got Larson and Rennell. Now, neither one of these are making true bow riders anymore. Rennell is no longer making boats. Campion uh, shut them down in 2017. Larson is now just making their Larson FX, which is their fishing ski number two. Before I get to number two, I want to let you know about the best and worst bow rider video I created where I go into detail why I rank these where I rank them. And I show you pictures that I've from boats that I've actually inspected um, and experiences I actually have. I show you the details of why I rank them the way I do. That's a, a 30, 40 minute video and it goes into much more detail than just this quick little ranking. Number two is Tahoe. One of the reasons why Tahoe is at number two is because they're sold at oftentimes at the big box retailers at Bass Pro and Cabela's, um, but they've got the same power source that the Bayliners do with the Mercury and Mercruiser. And number one is Caravelle. Now, Caravelle is owned by Factory Boats Direct and Boat and RV Center. They're kind of sold in big box stores that are scattered throughout the interstate in the southeast. Um, but when you start looking at the construction, the quality, uh, and the, the way they've got the price down, uh, they get the number one spot. Go watch that video, Best and Worst Bow Riders, 